It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey, hey, everybody. Today I'm taking a look at Medici, the latest printing of Medici from Grail Games. This one is a, an older Reiner Knizia bidding classic. And the game has been printed several times before. It's a, it's a very a well regarded game. And it's a game that has never quite been, I would say, particularly pretty or functional in the past. So, does this version fix that? Is it as functional as it appears? Is it as attractive as it would seem? Let's take a look. So here's what the game would look like set up ready to begin for three players, uh, though I would recommend you play with more than three probably. It's a little easier to show you the setup just for three. Everybody gets a ship and, and the holds in that ship represented by this board here. Everybody is going to get a little cheat sheet, a double sided for scoring each of the three rounds in the game. And everyone's going to put one of their tokens at the bottom of these five tracks representing five different kinds of goods. We start with 40 uh, as far as your income, and then you are ready to begin. Pick a star player, pick how many cards you play with uh, randomly from the entire deck, depending on the number of players, and you're good to go. So what you're doing in the game is trying to amass the most uh, money and, and be the richest player at the end of the game. And you are going to do that through bidding and acquiring sets of goods. And so each round goes like this. The start player here is going to draw cards from the top of the deck uh, until they draw one, two, or three. They can choose when they want to stop. And then going around the table, starting with the player after them, they do a once around bid to buy the lot of cards. And so I can flip that, and let's say I want to flip one more card, and I stop there. We are going to bid on that set of two cards. And so this player could say, I'll pay six for that. This one says, I'll pay seven, and let's say I say, well, I don't want it at all, so you pay your seven. This player, the blue player, is going to pay their seven coins, and they will place these two cards in their ship. It would now be the next player's turn, and so this player will flip over some cards, and it will once again go around. You can never flip up more than you yourself can load, and there's a couple of other little rules like that. That's basically it. And so the game's gonna be over usually when uh, everybody but one player has a full ship, though it might end also with running out of cards, things like that. Once that's all done, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give everybody a few random cards here, like so. Uh, let's give this player that. Uh, one more there. And I'll grab some cards myself, like so. So let's say this is what we've got. Then we're going to score up, and as I said, you do this three times and the game's over, richest player is the winner. So now we score up uh, a couple of things. We're going to go through step one, then step two. First thing is the most valuable ship ignoring the goods. And that's what the side one here is. And so you are going to get, in this case I'm playing with three players, so we're going to use that scoring. Whoever has the most valuable ship gets 30 points, or 30 coins. Uh, the second most uh, valuable ship gets 15, last place gets nothing, and for that you add up the numbers on the cards. And so this player here is looking at 21, that's very good. They are going to get first place, and they'll get 30 on their track. Once that's done, we go to step two, which this player over here is showing. Step two is the different goods themselves. And so for that, you are going to calculate how much of every of uh, each type of good players have, and they'll move up on the tracks according to what they've uh, they've loaded. So, for example, let's say I want to do this one and track them here on the board. They have two of these furs, which are right here. They are pink, so I'll move them up to there. They have one of this uh, uh, clothing symbol there, so they'll move up one on that. And then the grain, they will move one up on that one. Like so. And all the other players would, of course, also do all of their own tracking. And so, you know, we've got that and that and that one, that one. 
all of that stuff. I'll just make it up for now, okay? Just for the sake of the example, pretend that this is how this uh, all looks. And then we go through them all and score everybody. And these tokens in the center here to help you figure out what you've scored already. And you'll flip it after you score it so that you don't, you know where you started, you know what you've scored. You'll flip them back for the second round for which you'll also remove one of these little tokens in the center. Very handy. And uh, so again, depending on the number of players here, you are going to give victory points for the highest player in something, second place, and so on. And there's also bonuses here at the top. If you ever get your score pawn in there, you'll get a plus 5, plus 10, or plus 20 every time you score. Do it earlier, of course, and you'll, you'll reap the rewards over a couple of scoring rounds. That's it. And so you are making money back. And then we'll clear these boards away. We will shuffle up the cards. And we will start again moving everything up. Scoring, making money, resetting for yet again the third round. At the end of those three rounds, the richest player is going to be the winner. And that's, that's basically it. The only thing I have not shown you is the little boards that come with the game. If you are going to play for two players then you take one of these, each of you, and you add it on to your board here in order to, um, uh, let's see, how does this go? I think it goes like that, right? Yeah. There it is. You add it on to it like so, and uh, it makes for a ship that has seven cargo holds, which balances the game for two players. And that's, that's it. That should give you a good idea of how the game works. So let's go back up top and let me tell you what I thought of it. My final thoughts on the game are sort of split depending on what group I'm thinking of. There are people out there that already know Medici, that already like Medici, and we're just hoping this would be a good, functional, attractive version of this game. And if that's who you are and what you want, then yes, you've got it here. This game is attractive. The materials are very well made. These cards are just fantastic, linen finished, solid, sturdy, components are great, everything looks real good, it's got a clean look to it, that Vincent to Trade artwork is fantastic, and so if you know the game already, you liked it, you want a new version of it that's going to really last and be easy to bring to the table, then this is the one I would very much recommend it for that. If you are someone that uh, does not know the game, isn't bringing anything to the table as far as knowing this is a classic, right? Uh, then I would say only go for this one if you enjoy your Euro games uh, on the very straightforward side. If you want something that is real clean, a very old school clean design, and if you are okay with the just the game that's really just bidding. There are no phases in this game. There is no now you spend the money and now you harvest and now you plant and then you go to market and sell. There's none of that stuff here. It's a very straightforward game. In some respects, and this is purely, you know, in my opinion, I find the game to be uh, too repetitive, even though it's not a long game and it does have a nice amount of time, but it's a little repetitive what you do coupled with a system that requires that the players all be about evenly matched. You know, having one brand new player in this game can sort of throw a monkey wrench in the whole thing when that player's bidding is out of whack with everyone's understanding of the systems. Uh, this can be seen in a couple of other Reiner Knizia games, actually bidding games. Uh, but in this one, you're going to get a little bit of that as well. And so... If you're just getting into games, if you're just getting into Euro games, this is perhaps a little too simple, too dry for folks. But if you can appreciate the simplicity, if it's something that you think you're going to get into, then this is the version to get of Medici. For me, personally, not one I find to be a fantastically engaging game. I think Reiner Canizia has done lots of games and lots of better games. Uh, but again, if it's, uh, if it's caught your eye in the overview, then definitely nothing to shy away from here because this version, what Grail Games has done, is really spectacular.
Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.